Imagine a celestial body wider than the Eiffel Tower is tall, hurtling through space and on a potential collision course with Earth. This is not a scene from a science fiction movie, but the stark reality of asteroid Apophis. Our story begins in 2004 with the discovery of an asteroid, an asteroid of such proportions that it could easily dwarf the Eiffel Tower. Its name, Apophis, was not chosen lightly for it carries with it the weight of ancient Egyptian mythology named after the god of chaos, destruction and darkness. And true to its name, Apophis has been stirring up quite a bit of chaos since its discovery. This celestial behemoth, measuring over a thousand feet in diameter, sparked a wave of fear and uncertainty when initial calculations suggested that it could collide with Earth in 2029. The thought of an object with the power to unleash destruction on a global scale coming into contact with our planet was enough to send shivers down the spine of even the most seasoned astronomers. But as our understanding of Apophis's trajectory improved, scientists breathed a collective sigh of relief. The threat of a collision in 2029 was ultimately ruled out. Yet, this was not the end of Apophis's dance with our planet. Far from it. In fact, the asteroid has had and will continue to have several close encounters with Earth. Each time it passes by our planet, it comes within a hair's breadth, astronomically speaking, of causing unimaginable chaos. But each time we've been lucky. Apophis has danced around us, playing a cosmic game of chicken, but always veering away at the last moment. Though the threat for 2029 has been averted, Apophis continues its cosmic dance with Earth, bringing it dangerously close to our planet on more than one occasion. Apophis's orbit brings it alarmingly close to Earth, closer than some of our satellites, making it not just a celestial spectacle, but a potential threat. The asteroid, named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos, has a series of close encounters with our planet, with the most significant flybys anticipated in the years 2029, 2036 and 2068. Let's talk about the first close flyby in 2029. On April 13th of that year, Apophis is set to pass within just 19,000 miles of Earth's surface. That's inside the orbits of geosynchronous satellites, making it a once in a thousand years event for an asteroid of this size. This close encounter could potentially influence the asteroid's trajectory, subtly shifting its orbit. Now, let's fast forward to 2036. Apophis will again make its celestial rendezvous with Earth. While the details of this encounter are yet to be fully understood, it's another opportunity for scientists to study this fascinating object and assess any changes in its trajectory. And then, there's the 2068 flyby. This is the one that's got scientists on edge. Currently, the risk of a catastrophic impact during this encounter is estimated at 1 in 380,000. While those odds might seem reassuringly long, they're not zero. And with recent research showing that Apophis's orbit is subtly shifting, the 2068 scenario is still very much in play. Each of these close encounters could potentially alter Apophis's trajectory, nudging it onto a collision course with Earth. It's a reminder that while the universe might be vast and expansive, it's also dynamic and unpredictable. The risk of impact in 2068 is currently estimated at 1 in 380,000. But as Apophis's orbit shifts, scientists are keeping a wary eye on this potential harbinger of chaos. In response to the potential threat posed by Apophis, NASA has formulated a bold and ambitious plan. The plan, known as the Apophis 2029 Planetary Defense Mission, or PDM for short, is a testament to human ingenuity and our unwavering commitment to safeguard our home, Earth. The mission's objectives are as multifaceted as they are ambitious. First and foremost, NASA intends to study Apophis's composition. What is this celestial body made of? What secrets does it hold within its rocky exterior? Unraveling these mysteries could shed light not only on Apophis itself, but also on the early days of our solar system. Equally important is the task of determining the best methods for deflecting or disrupting Apophis' trajectory. This is no small feat. Imagine trying to nudge a mountain off its course from hundreds of thousands of miles away. 
The task requires precision, innovation, and a deep understanding of the physics of motion and gravity. Finally, the mission aims to gain insights into the formation of our solar system. Asteroids like Apophis are like time capsules from the past, remnants of our solar system's early days. Studying them can provide us with a window into the past, helping us understand how our solar system came to be and how it might evolve in the future. This mission is a race against time. With the launch set for late 2027, the spacecraft will journey through the vastness of space to reach Apophis by late 2028, just in time for the asteroid's close flyby in 2029. The mission set to launch in late 2027 could not only help us understand Apophis better, but also equip us with the knowledge to defend our planet from future asteroid threats. This isn't just about one asteroid. It's about building our capacity to protect our planet and ensuring the survival of life as we know it. Apophis serves as a stark reminder of the cosmic threats that lurk in the depths of space, underlining the importance of planetary defense. It stands as a silent testament to the potential dangers that asteroids and other celestial bodies pose to our planet. A threat that is real, though distant, but not impossible. In our current world, there is no dedicated international agency tasked with the responsibility of deflecting asteroids. This is a gap that needs to be filled as we venture deeper into the universe and as our knowledge of these celestial bodies grows. The need for an international body dedicated to planetary defense becomes more apparent with each passing day. There is a growing call for more international coordination in this area, a call to unite, to pool our resources, our knowledge and our technologies, to protect our shared home. This call is not without its debates. There is a discourse surrounding the role of the military in planetary defense. Some advocate for a greater military presence while others emphasize the importance of international cooperation. But this is not just about who takes up the mantle of planetary defense, it's also about taking action now. It's about being proactive rather than reactive. It's about not waiting for the threat to become imminent before we spring into action. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we need to be aware of the potential dangers that lie in wait. We need to be prepared to have plans in place for any eventuality. We need to learn more about asteroids like Apophis, understand their compositions, their trajectories, their potential for impact. These are not just tasks for scientists and researchers. They are responsibilities that we all share as inhabitants of Earth. We need to support these efforts to understand their importance, to realize that planetary defense is not just a concept for science fiction, it's a reality that we need to face and prepare for. As Apophis continues its journey through space, it is a constant reminder of the need for vigilance, preparedness, and international cooperation in the face of potential cosmic threats. The story of Apophis is one of potential danger but also of human ingenuity and resilience. This celestial body, named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos, is a reminder of the cosmic ballet that we are part of and the potential threats that come with it. As we have journeyed through this narrative, we've seen the close flybys of Apophis, an asteroid wider than the Eiffel Tower is tall. It's a stark realization that our planet is not alone in the universe, but part of a dynamic and ever-changing cosmos. The close encounters with Earth, particularly in 2029, underline the importance of monitoring such celestial bodies. We've also delved into NASA's bold plan to study Apophis. The Apophis 2029 Planetary Defense Mission is not just about understanding this particular asteroid. It's about gathering critical information to help us understand the countless other asteroids that share our solar system. The importance of planetary defense has been underscored in our discussion. It's not just about averting potential catastrophe. It's about developing the knowledge and the technology to better understand our universe. It's about fostering international cooperation and seeing our planet as the single shared home that it is. As we confront the challenges of potential asteroid impacts, we are reminded of our own fragility and our remarkable resilience. Our journey into space is not just about exploration, 
It's about survival. It's about understanding our place in the cosmos and safeguarding our future on this beautiful blue planet. The tale of Apophis is a wake-up call to us all. It's a reminder that we need to continue our vigilance, our research, and our collective effort to safeguard our planet. It's a story of potential danger, but also a story of hope. As we continue to gaze up at the stars, we must also remember to keep a watchful eye on those celestial bodies that remind us of our place in the universe and the potential threats that come with it.